Hey everybody, it's Alana here and I have another reveal. Um, actually, I purchased this this particular bag uh, last month, about a month and a half ago and then the next item I'm going to show you by the same brand was purchased a couple of weeks ago. So um, what you've seen recently, my unboxings has been, um, you know, after these. But um, I did want to reveal this. This is not a coach bag, as you can see. However, um, it's a beautifully made bag. And so it's the next one that I will show here with it in a second. It's also a, an American brand, so um, maybe you'll want to stick around, those of you who love Coach, even though this is not Coach, maybe you'll want to stick around and um, check this out, even though it's not Coach, because this is, again, another American brand and an exquisite, exquisitely made bag, or bags. But before I get started on the reveal, I wanted to welcome everybody to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you for subscribing if you have. Thank you for continuing to come back and to support me for those who have subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so this is a brand called Mark Cross. I hadn't heard of this brand until a couple of years ago when Melissa's Persis, one of my bag friends, mentioned it. And then I, I didn't really look into it that much, but I do remember her raving about this, this brand. And um, Noble Strength also, um, and I think a couple of other people that I know um, had a couple of bags and they were they gave us some pretty good reviews. So go check out their review your reviews. Noble Strength again and Melissa's Purses, if I'm not mistaken, or Melissa's Purse. I think it's Melissa's Purses. Anyway, they've already talked about Mark Cross, so I won't get into it a whole lot because there's information out there, and I'm sure some of you have heard of it. Maybe not that many of you though, because this is a brand that has been. It actually went out of business. It has been popular. It was started in 1845 and it has been known and popular before. However, it went out of business in the 90s or the 80s. I think it was the 90s, but it was brought back in 2011. So it's it still hasn't really picked up steam yet. Um, so I'm hoping that it does because this brand is incredible. I own two items by them so far, but I have seen I more and I have felt more and they're quality is exquisite again it's an american brand but i believe most of their products are made or maybe all of their products are made in italy so um if i'm not mistaken it's italy but anyway um it's just it's an incredible brand and their customer service is as fantastic as their products and their products are in my opinion some of the best that i've ever seen and owned and held or whatever um, and I, I'm not even counting, I'm counting, I'm including the higher end brands. This brand is very underrated in my opinion for the, just like MCM and Coach and Dooney and Burke, um, for the quality, their prices are ridiculously great. Now, Mark Cross is more expensive than Coach overall and MCM. Um, they're kind of up there with, I would probably put them around Saint Laurent maybe price wise. However, their quality in my opinion is even better. I think it's, it. I think their quality is equal to some of the, you know, the higher, the higher end brands. But anyway, so Mark Cross is amazing. This bag right here is called the Mini Madeline Lady Top Handle Bag, I think, or something like that. I just know Madeline and Lady are in the name, and this is the mini size. They have a small and a large, if I'm not mistaken, or a small and a medium size along with this. The quilt, look at this quality, y'all, the quilting. You see, um how perfect the stitches are, how perfect the quality lines up. And they did this little cross here. <laughs> so, I mean, it, quilting is gonna be, it's gonna be, um, it can it can be pretty simple, but it can also be kind of complicated. This is not super complicated, but um, they don't just have stripes or um, stitching going across or quilting going across horizontally or vertically. No, they've got like this little, slight little pattern here. And even the, um, the piece that goes into the pocket here, that is a pocket, matches up and aligns perfectly and it's just incredible. Did I already talk about this leather though? This is their Napa leather. It's the softest Napa I have ever felt. And it's not just soft, it's like a, it's like a, oh my God. Every time I touch this, it's like, oh. It's like, the, uh, I'm touching this part over here because it's, it's plain. It's like a velvety, buttery, it's just velvety, buttery goodness. I, don't, I can't even explain it. You would have to feel it. It's incredible. The style of this bag is completely Alana, completely. It's, um, it's got five feet. They don't generally put five feet on tiny bags. This is not tiny, but this from here to here is about what? Nine, eight and a half inches, and then maybe six and a half going up. 
and about three in depth. So it's not, it's not a big bag. It really is not. Um, Mark Cross is kind of known for their, their key hoods here. And if you look closely, look closely at the key hood, this is the coolest thing ever. The Madeline collection is patterned after that key hood. If you look at the flap here, you see how it has the, um, it has a slanted edge and then kind of rounds down here at the middle and then has a slanted edge. That's like the key hood, slanted, round, slanted up, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, that is super cool. I thought that was super cool. So all of the bags in their Madeline line, or Madeline collection, um, have that same, that same um, design. The top handle is very nice, same material as the, uh, the bag itself. And so it's the um, key, key hood with that ring in there. By the way, the hardware is gold-plated brass, which I think is super luxurious. I mean, they don't have to do that. MCM does that. Also, I really love that. Brass in itself is great. It's great metal, especially for bags. I, I like brass, but um, gold-plated brass, seriously. The sides can actually pop out, and I will show you how, but first, let, you know, let's check out the price. The price on um, Mark Cross's website was $21.50, and that's how much Neiman... Marcus was selling it for. I got it from last call and got it for $10.75, which was as soon as I had them take this out of the um, the case. There's one, I think there's one Neiman Marcus last call left in the US, I think, and it's in Dallas. So I went and I saw a Tory Burch Kira, Kira bag, I think that's the name of it. It's a cute quilted bag and it has a top handle also. And um, the um, sales associate grabbed that one. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, but I, I'm so excited to show you guys this. Anyway, so the sales associate grabbed that one and then I walked and said, I wanna see the Tory Burch and I wanna see that that Mark Cross bag in there. And um, she knew herself. She's been there for a while. She even knew when, when she saw which bag I wanted to see after the Tory Burch and I was holding Tory Burch when we went to go grab this out of the case, she said, you're not gonna want Tory Burch. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you're gonna want this, this is so much better. And she was like saying, it, you know, hush, hush, like don't, don't tell anybody, but this is so, so fantastic. As soon as she grabbed this and I felt it, I was like, oh God, yes, oh Lord have mercy. I didn't care, the, well, I, I, I was happy to see that the price was what, like half off. But um, I knew I was going home with this. I don't generally spend a thousand dollars, you know, without knowing a whole lot about the uh, brand. <laughs> without owning something smaller or cheaper by the brand um, or having a whole lot of people tell me that it's amazing like YSL when I purchased my first YSL I spent more, over a thousand dollars however I knew that it had great resale tons of friends had it tons of YouTube videos um, talk about it and you know blah 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 Mark Cross is super underrated like I said before and no one except a, few, a, a couple of friends that I know and then a, a handful of people on YouTube even talk about this bag and in the purse form i think melissa's purse is my friend who who you know hipped us all to um this brand not all of us but me and my coach friends uh, she's the one who told us she's the one who started the thread in the purse form so that's like the only thread in there on mark cross so um i fell in love with this and how it feels and the the, the quality and everything so much i was like done i'm getting it and i put that tory birch back in a hurry but anyway, I was saying that the price was $21.50. Guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was a lot of talking. But I didn't want to tell you what the story was. And um, the inside right here is also leather lined. I won't show you. I don't want to stretch this out. This feels like such a... It's not super delicate, but it feels like such an... Exqu it's just exquisite. Seriously, the bag is just exquisite. And I want to put that back there. But it's just incredible. So here is how we open it. I love the push locks. Love that. That's just incredible. You know me and my flat bags. I absolutely love flat bags. It's especially if they're crossbody and have a top handle. Preferably, I like the flat top handle that you can pull up, like with the court or um, Cassie, the original Cassie, not Cassie nineteen. But um, I like, I prefer that type of handle. But this one is nice and it's 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 really good also. Uh, but anyway, so flat bag, which is one of my favorite type, and there are pieces here leather pieces to convert this into a crossbody so you know Alana was happy look at this though look at this there was not anything wrong with this bag it was perfect in perfect condition it came with the strap I should probably take it out of the plastic because I don't think plastic is good for leather look at this interior 
Look at that red. First of all, that's all Napa leather, the everywhere in this bag. There is not one non-leather area or piece in this bag. The interior pocket is that beautiful leather. Also, the stitching everywhere is perfect. I should have said that before. The stitching everywhere is perfect. Um, here is the uh, Mark Cross name and symbol. Here's the dust bag. Very nice, very thick, like muslin. Muslin material. Drawstring. That lighting looks horrible right there. Let me take the strap out. The strap doesn't have rings because as you saw the two pieces in there, the two leather pieces, very nice. It adjusts quite well. I'm guessing this is gold plated also. This is nice and thick. Nice and thick. Simple, simple. Simple uh, strap here. It's exactly the same type of Napa leather. Mark cross there. It's beautiful. This bag is still on the website for the full price. This is what, brick red? Red brick? Red's fire red? I can't even remember. But it's more of a Bordeaux or burgundy type of red. This in here is red red. That's bold red. This, I, I don't know. I can't compare it to 1941 red. For those of you who are Coach fans and who know um, 1941 red, which is our favorite red by Coach. Well, mine at least. That, I don't, I have to compare it, but... Anyway, so this is um, this is more like the Coach 1941 Burgundy or Bordeaux color. Look at this though, guys. And it is, it's pretty lightweight. Well, let me put everything back. It's pretty lightweight. It's not too heavy. Napa leather is not that heavy in general, so this won't, this wouldn't have been heavy anyway. But um, it's a gorgeous bag, guys. It is just, I fell so in love. If they ever have a sale, and I believe Mark Cross does have sales sometimes. Here's how you put this back. Like that. Ooh, dust that off a little bit. Um, I think they have sales sometimes. According to the purse form, they have sales sometimes. But anyway, this bag is just, oh, it's so yummy. It's delicious. It's just perfect. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I absolutely love it. That's what I was saying. Look at this. This beautiful soft bag has wings too so you can change the silhouette look look at that it is just perfect so as soon as they have a sale i want this let this quilted madeline lady in the mini size another one i want another one at least two it's just perfect it's absolutely it's made perfectly and i love quilted bags for some reason just want to keep wiping that off anyway beautiful bag I absolutely love it fell madly in love with it like I said and I thought man you know what I want another one I want another one so I scoured the uh, universe <laughs> I scoured I scoured the resale sites because I'm not about to purchase straight from Mark Cross because it's a little more than I want to pay for a brand that I can't resell and get most of my money back so um <laughs> so uh, I decided to look everywhere and I looked on a website, a resale site, and found this beauty. Guys, I may love it just as much as that one. Look at this. This is also on Mark Cross's website. Actually, this sold out. This, ladies and gents, will probably be, both of these are forever bags, but this is that bag. You know, like when people finally decide, I wanna buy the ultimate handbag, I wanna buy a, an Hermes Kelly or Birkin in special leather or whatever. This right here is box leather. This is that bag that you can keep in your collection forever and it will never go out of style. Top handle, flap, in box leather, box calf leather. There's specifically Mark Cross's, Mark, um, box leather is called Dover box calfskin leather, I believe, but, um, or calfskin, but, um, yeah, they don't, it's not on the website anymore. Uh, you can see pictures of it. However, and there's a description and all that. However, it's uh, not available right now. And I don't know why, but this is a size small and, um, it's still not huge. It's not that huge. Here are they, I mean, here they are together. It's not huge. I would say about 10 across, maybe nine height. And it's not that much deeper actually than, um, than this beauty here, than the mini. So it's, it's doable for me. I'm not really into big bags, but I can picture wearing beautiful, beautiful, um, dresses 
and taking this to an event and carrying this thing on my uh on the crook of my arm y'all so anyway i just i wanted another one and um i found i happened to stumble across this and then i was like wait it's that box leather this is like the leather that you the leather that i personally think is one of the most um luxurious and one of the ones that i wouldn't carry you know every day but I wouldn't carry it for every day, but um, it's just, it's stunning. It's not as glossy as patent leather. And I believe it complete, it acts completely different than patent leather. Some people say this scratches badly, but I have actually seen reviews uh, where people show up their box leather, their box leather um, items and they hadn't scratched that much. So I don't know. But anyway, um, I don't plan to use this like an everyday bag. So uh, I figured, I kind of wanted, kind of wanted, got it for a great price. This was, I believe, nine fifty plus tax or something like that. It also has feet on the bottom. Same five feet. I can't get over the fact that that little mini has five whole feet on the bottom. They're tiny feet, but still. <laughs> and again, we've got the key hood, and this one has a key. Again, gold plated hardware. This one has a key. The key and the lock do work. They are functioning. Here is. The, uh, the clasp, mark across again, beautiful. And this, this top handle is a lot bigger. I mean, this one will be kind it'll fit over my hand, definitely. And I have like large man hands, but um, <laughs> this will fit over my hand and I can wear it on the wrist right here. This one will fit all the way up the arm. So not like as a shoulder bag, but like the crook of my arm, you know? But anyway, uh, yeah, it's a great, it's a great size. It was not, it was, it's like unused, but it looks like it had a couple of little storage issues. It has a few scratches right here. Who, the person who sold this said that um, it had only been used to take pictures. Uh, and then it had a couple of spots here. And I believe box leather does swell up if it gets wet or there it stains maybe. So I'll have to be careful with that. But I mean, a bag that I'll have forever and only take out for special occasions, I can, you know, I, I'll be careful with. I'm, I can baby, you know. So here we go. There's that. Get a load of the interior. Look at this. This gorgeous, gorgeous black Nappa. It's a different, you see, it's a completely different texture. This is very dull, very matted, I should say. And this has a little bit of shine. Here's the interior, same as the other. Beautiful red. And this is their signature red color. Now, I think what I want is the regular grained leather in this style in their red color. It's gonna be kind of close to that burgundy, but you know what, whatever. So they have a zip pocket on the back, slip pocket right here. And this, oh, the zipper is great. The quality, y'all, is just ridiculous. It's so great. It's so great. And um, the little tab here says, Mark Cross 19, I mean, 1845, made in Italy very very soft this is the same like uber soft nappa leather if i'm not mistaken i don't know i think that's the same leather as the um this bag itself and uh here's the long strap with adjustability here that's interesting so we have two we have two um two sets of holes and two, uh, what do you call these? Whatever these are called. So you can kind of wear it short or long. Well, not super short, not like short, short, but um, shorter than, you know, crossbody or very long, long shoulder carry. So anyway, so I purchased this and I saw in the purse form, I'm almost done guys. I saw in the purse form uh, that Somebody said that they had contacted, one of the women in there said that they contacted Mark Cross because they wanted a dust bag because whoever, whatever third party they had purchased their bag from did not have a dust bag. Uh, I mean, the bag came and um, a dust bag was not offered with the bag. So they contacted Mark Cross and they were able to get a free dust bag. And so I thought, oh, I wonder if I can do that. So I contacted Mark Cross. Oh, I need to shine that up. I contacted Mark Cross and immediately, oh, I just chatted. I went onto the website and um, there's a chat pop-up window like most sites have now. And so I, um, I, you know, 
waited there, gave my email and my name, oh, just gave my name or something like that. And then they said, be right with you. And immediately almost somebody came up and said, hello, how may I help you? And I said, well, I have this bag that I purchased and I don't have a dust bag for it. They said, what's your address and your email address? I will ship that to you. Oh, I showed them a picture of the bag and they said, I will ship that to you immediately. Within 20 minutes, he had given me a tracking number. He had sent the, the customer service agent had sent a tracking number to my email and within two days, within two days, I received this, a boxed, wrapped dust bag. Sorry, that kind of hit, hit the uh, camera. Mark Cross. So these people, their customer service, oh, and he answered all kinds of other questions as, uh, you know, since then and me receiving this dust bag. <laughs> It's incredible. It's incredible. Same kind of dust bag as the one in here. Absolutely amazing. I actually like to keep my straps in the dust bag. So let's roll this bad boy back up. Isn't that crazy though? Like, I mean, I remember before even starting to collect, when I first started to collect coach, actually at the thrift store from the thrift store, I called and asked for um, a dust bag once and um, they shipped it and it literally took about two weeks, maybe more. And I thought, man, they didn't even hear me. They didn't even listen to me. They didn't even listen, but then I received the dust bag. I also received a couple of their metal um, hang tags before I started to collect coach and it, they, it used to take forever. So when this guy gave me a tracking number within 20 minutes of talking with him, and um, then like two days later, y'all, two days later, and it was coming from New York. It was the new, yo, he was from the New York boutique. I believe there's only one in America. I don't know how many boutiques there are. Well, we'll have to look that up. But anyway, I just, I was so freaking impressed. And then he wrote a whole paragraph when he gave me the tracking number. He wrote a paragraph saying how, thank you so much for, um, for um, contacting us. Is there anything else I can do with, for you? And blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't remember what he said. But um, it was incredible. So it's definitely the best customer service that I have experienced from any handbag brand. And I'm not, I mean, I have dealt with a lot of handbag brands. And it was the absolute best customer service that I've ever experienced. Oh, I didn't show you the back. By the way, these pockets have that same red Nappa. Oh, you can see it. Good. Beautiful, beautiful bag. So, I mean, I am, I am so, so happy and impressed with these. I'm so impressed with these these um, bags here and also all of the other mock cross bags that I have seen and felt I am so impressed so very impressed with how incredibly made they are again they're exquisite both of these are just ugh, they're just they're so, there's just they're elegant they're made beautifully perfectly they're like vintage inspired that's why they I, they will never go out of style there we've seen this style so many times through the years and it will we'll always see it so I was so happy to purchase this because this is again my forever forever bag but so is this even though that may be passed down to my daughter eventually, who knows? Anyway, so yeah, Mark Cross, guys, is absolutely fantastic. So um, I'm just trying to put that, like so a couple of other YouTubers, I'm trying to put this on your radar, another American brand. It's just incredible. And um, you'll be seeing more of them on my on my channel. But yeah, so this is just, this is, a, this is where some of my bag money has been going. <laughs> and I am not regretting a single either one of these. I just, I love it. And if another one popped up in that size for around a thousand, I'd probably grab that too. <laughs> but uh-oh, now that I've told all of you, people are probably going to be snatching these up before I can see them. But anyway, what do you think guys? What do you think? Aren't they lovely? Oh, this one pops out as well. The sides do. However, not quite as well as this one does. Anyway, that's it. Y'all, that's it. And, um, do you have any Mark Cross? Have you heard of Mark Cross? What do you think? What do you think of the brand if you have heard of them? What do you think of their quality? Is this the first time you've heard of them? Um, what do you think of this style? Isn't this such a lot of style? This is just incredible. I love them. I love both of them. And the customer service again, I absolutely love too. Anyway, take care of yourselves, you all. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.